Oh, I did not like that. Within the depths of the Imperial Palace on Terra, the Emperor of Mankind is guarded night and day by his personal bodyguards known as the Companions. Oh yeah. The 300 oh yeah, chat. Of the Adeptus Custodes. Yeah. These warriors are under the command of the Captain General of the Custodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the present day, his true name is unknown. We love the Custodes, chat. We love them. I mean, I do. They're my favorite they're my favorite faction, so I love them. I love them. Hence my armor. But he is known either affectionately or derogatively, depending <laughs> upon your point of view, as yes. Kitten. Oh, kitten that was so cute! Depending upon your point of view, as Kitten. Look at that! Look at his little face! Look at that face. Oh my gosh, I would pet him. <laughs> kitten has proven himself mm -hmm. to be a valued asset to the Emperor of Mankind, providing him with knowledge of current Please. events happening there within the Imperium. He has also been involved in many monumentous events, including witnessing the return of the Primarch Rogal Dawn, yes, yes, battling yes. against the demon Primarch Magnus the Red, and was even the rumoured catalyst for a great revelation within the reliquary of the Salamander's Fortress mm -hmm. Monastery. Some have He's very good at his job. that he even participated in a duel of wits against both the Emperor of Mankind and the Chaos God Zinch, and not only that, Meow. but managed to best them as well even winning the possession of the soul of the Primarch Magnus the Red as a result, despite many Imperial scholars deeming such a task impossible for a mere mortal. Yeah. <laughs> Given his my, my meow wasn't too far off. Couldn't get it quite right, but it was close. It's immense knowledge, skill, and wit. Just who exactly is Kitten? All I require is your full name. It's long. Are you really sure about it's that? It's long, chat. Well, yes, yes, I am. I mean... Really sure? Yes, tell me your full name. Well, alright then. Here goes. Uh Some Imperial scholars speculate <laughs> that Kitten is none other than Constantine Valdor, who served as Captain General of the Legio Custodes during the Great Crusade and the Horus Heresy. This would seem at first a reasonable assumption to make, given his rank and the rumour that he did indeed survive the events of the Horus Heresy. However, okay. Constantine Valdor was rumoured to have stepped down from his role in shame following the Emperor's oh. internment into the Golden Throne, and that a new Captain General was elected by his peers to take his place. I do have a high lord. I am Captain General of the Adeptus Custodes. Oh shit! What a twist! <laughs> <laughs> but bizarrely, Kitten may not actually be a Custodes after all. The Warriors oh. of the Custodes are recruited from the children and descendants of ancient Terran nobles and warlords whom the Emperor conquered during the Unification Wars right. as part of their terms of surrender. Mm -hmm. But Kitten is not one of these descendants. According to recovered security footage from the Salamander's Fortress Monastery upon Prometheus, Kitten, in a fit of rage, discloses that he might have actually been created within the laboratories within the Imperial Palace oh. of Terra okay. before being dragged away by Magnus the Red. What? We'll break into your reliquary, you spouter! What? Gonna take all your artifacts and wear them out! What? We're gonna take your engine thing! What? I'll slap this shit, I swear on him all! Give me more than two! It's gonna be my fucking Emerus! Fuck! What? More Emerus! I guess this ever happened, please, and thank you. Yeah, I remember that, I was like, uh, he's, he's going crazy, man. But there were beings who were created in the palace laboratories. Mm hmm. The Primarchs. After the events oh, of the Oh, that's a concept, that's a concept. Simply vanished never to be heard from again. And even before the events of the Horus Heresy, two of the original 20 Primarchs were erased from Imperial mm. records for unknown reasons. Could it be possible that Kitten is actually a Primarch? Well, he doesn't have the same size or sheer size of the Primarchs Dasher. themselves. Yeah, there average, we go. This would seem extremely unlikely. He'd be close to Alpharius' size. Dwarfed by Primarchs such as Rogal Dawn and Magnus. But like Alpharius is too. were not all the same height. For starters, Alpharius was only the size of a large Astartes, mm -hmm. which would fit Kitten's approximate height in comparison. Yeah. But Alpharius himself was- Kitten is Alpharius. Dun, dun, dun. 
killed by Rogal Dawn during the battle for Pluto in the Horus Heresy, and as such, Kitten cannot be Alpharius. But he Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? <laughs> could potentially be the second head of the Hydra, the twin Primarch of the Alpha Legion, mm -hmm. Omegon. We know Omegon survived the events of the Horus Heresy, and even took his twin brother's identity to keep up his deception with the other legions. And given his willingness to sabotage his twin brother's plans from time to time, could have forced Omegon to eventually have a crisis of conscience. It was mm -hmm. heavily speculated for a time that Omegon himself became Janus, the first Grand Master of the Grey Knights. Oh, I didn't know that. But that has since been disproved, oh. as Janus was in fact the Loyalist Thousand's son, Revial Arvida, oh, okay. who became cool. infused with a shard of Magnus the Red. I didn't know that. There are also the rumours of quote-unquote Alpharius being <laughs> slain by Rabute Gilliman shortly after the Horus Heresy. That being said, Gilliman himself admitted that he wasn't even sure it was I mean, if he was slain. Alpharius, it would kind of make sense because Alpharius would know a lot of information about, like, everything because of how his legion operates. He can get a lot of information that way, so it's, like, not all that surprising. However, the truth of Kitten's identity is far more shocking and disturbing than anyone could have ever anticipated. Oh, yeah? For the truth of the matter is that Kitten has heard every single word of this nonsense. What does... You? Not sure why you'd be so surprised seeing how I live here. Well, a couple miles away, but that's practically the same street on Terra. Yes, but still. Mm -hmm. Honestly, why is everyone trying to figure out my name all the time? It exists on public records, has no one bothered to check it in the last few thousand years? Um, have you seen the size of the Imperial Archives? Not That's a great only point. Does the paperwork take up hundreds of miles of storage space, but Rogal Dawn has been using the stacks of paper to build a fort. Yes, exactly he used, uh... <laughs> he's, he used one of the stacks as a support beam. <laughs> you just go there and get the file, can I? Really, though, why doesn't anyone know it to begin with, considering I'm Captain General and everything? It kind of hurts, to be honest. People don't seem to really appreciate the Adeptus Custodes. We love you, kitten. Confined to the palace, except in all the wrong ways. Isn't it creepy how big of a deal some people are making out of my name? No one ever seems to want to find out who the Legion of the Damned are or what the Tyranid's grand purpose is. We're but just my obsessed. Name? Biggest mystery in the galaxy, apparently. Well, I don't think anyone cares about them, to be frank with you. It's because you have personality, Kitten. It's like this. He's like a streamer, chat. You you like the personality. Please don't do this. Please. But <laughs> you you want to know who the person is behind the mask, like Superman or something, where it's like, oh my gosh, this guy is so cool. I love his personality. I need to know who he is. It, it's like that. So everyone's like, we love Kitten. Except I don't think I would go that far. Trying to get all that information. Look, just go back to improving the Imperium's technology or something. Good idea. You know you don't really care for dabbling in Xenotech as long as you've got an adamantium hard cyber sticky from it. Look, I'm actually a Lord Inquisitor. I don't do menial labor anymore. Oh, you're an Inquisitor now, huh? Well, that's an interesting career change. Magnus, open the portal! <laughs> get sent to the warp, buddy. Get sent to the warp. Aurelia was Kitten all along? No. No. Kitten does, at times, questionable things. And clearly, Kitten is a guy. I am not a guy. So, um... No. <laughs> no, gosh, you saw him. He's got, like, pecs and everything. And he got all the muscles. No. And he's also way more tan than me. Like, look at me. <laughs> no, Kitten's abs are something to behold. I, I, I could not even, like, get close to, like, achieving that level of perfection? Perfection is probably the right way to put it. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little too pasty for that. <laughs> 